Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming, tech, emulation, and open source news. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu, and as of Yuzu version 1595, there were some changes to allow Super Mario Wonder to boot. And on top of all of that, it appears that NVIDIA drivers 545.84 increased stability for 1000 series GPUs with 2 to 4 gigs of VRAM especially in games like Tears of the Kingdom, so if you've got an NVIDIA GPU, you may want to consider upgrading your drivers. Next up, we're talking about PS4 emulation with Shad PS4. And Shad PS4 just released version 0.0.2. It's their anniversary release. Now, it's worth pointing out that Shad PS4 is still in early stages of development, so don't expect it to be emulating Bloodborne or anything like that anytime soon. At the same time, though, this marks one year since its initial commit. If you are curious about Shad PS4, it's 100% free. It's open source, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. At this point in time, it's only going to emulate very simple homebrew games like Tetris. Moving on, and we're talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation on PC with Citra. And if you're using Linux, you may want to pay attention to this update. As of Canary 2658, there's a massive performance bump between 20 to 30 percent. Now, to be fair here, Citra Canary is the more experimental version of Citra. So not everything may work as expected. There may be some bugs, there may be some issues, but it might be worth checking out. Next up here, we're talking about the Game Boy Color, and this milestone is making me feel a little bit old. The Game Boy Color officially turns 25. It was released on October 21st, 1998 in Japan. I remember when it was announced. I remember when it came out. And I was very excited to get my hands on one back in the day. I still love that console to this day. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Did you have a Game Boy Color back in the day? Were you around when the Game Boy Color came out? Moving on, and I'm very quickly talking about the whole Sniper Wolf and Jax Films debacle. Now, I initially was not going to talk about this one at all. Number one, I don't really care about it. And number two, it doesn't really fit in with the context of this channel. However, I've been asked a bunch, and I mean a whole bunch, about this entire situation, which is crazy. So here's my take on it, and I'm not getting into the details here because I really don't think I need to. Sniper Wolf has been demonetized temporarily from YouTube. There are petitions out there to remove her from the platform altogether, which I don't see actually happening. Sniper Wolf makes YouTube a ton of money. When someone makes a company like that a ton of money, the last thing they want to do is remove them from the platform. So after everything is all said and done here, I think Sniper Wolf's channel is going to continue as it always does. Let me know if you disagree in the comments below. And last up here, we're talking about some Linux gaming with Proton Experimental. And the latest release of Proton Experimental now has Burnout Paradise Remastered as playable and a whole bunch of fixes, including one for Forza 5. I'll drop a link to the changelog in the description below. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. I saw the Statue of Liberty today, and I'll be seeing a bunch more things in the coming days here. My uploads are, I'm gonna try to keep them regular, but I might have to scale them down due to, I would say, questionable Wi-Fi, but we'll see how things go. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.